Baz, we've arrived in Taralgan. We're looking for a bakery, a bit of a feed, and then I reckon we've got to go somewhat straight away to the footy. We're about 25 minutes away from Jared Ruffhead's clinic. Well, how are we feeling about the Taralgan bakery? We have high hopes. No. Okay, cop that, Taralgan. But we'll give it a go anyway. Little right. stop off at the uh, at the Taralgan news agents and a little bit of a, a bit of a bargain. I've never seen the Melbourne bobbleheads before. We saw them in the window. And happy days. I got kick cut. You couldn't couldn't ask for any more, really. So I might have to chuck these on the set, just quietly. It goes alright. Goes alright. Should we getting changed? Oh, I, I got a little bit of a on the street. Oh, geez, the glamours of <laughs> glamours of showbiz. Checking Baz. yourself out in the window. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Where are we headed off to, lads? My hand smells like burrito juice, and I'm not for it. I'm keen to wash that off. Have you got any sanitizer? We have to head off to a two grey man, Jared Ruffy Roughhead, Bazlinka. Where do you reckon Ruffy will rank in terms of the, like his output on field of all the Carlton draft boys we've seen so far? So we've seen Ed, and but Ed's agile more than most of the the regional footy players. Well, all of them, you would hope. You would hope, but he ranks first at this stage. Daisy let himself go a little bit. I think he had a little too many. Bit years. of a trier. He was a trier. He tried hard. Daisy was good off field. I don't yeah. give points for trying that. Well. However, they won, so yeah. you do give points for winning. Yeah, he's <laughs> our first and only winner so far. So. I reckon Rough Fed will be the best out of the lot. I, I think, honestly, I reckon 10 plus. I agree. We could, he could kick a bag of 13. 13! 13! We love a Ruffy. But I'll still predict Ruffy to kick 9 and just fall one short of the 10. 9 like his number. 9. Dos predictions. 18 was a good year. The footy was so sick. Can't believe it. That's not what we asked for at all. Ruffy kicked 7. Take out of the ruck. Uh, Parodies podcast, mate. This oh, good yeah. day. Good good song. Song. Mate, the yeah, sun's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, Gorman Dale is Charlie. providing the banter yeah. and the atmosphere, yeah. and we love it. Come on, Ruffy. Come on, Ruffy. Ruffy. Oh, yes. 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 going down, and the mitts are going up. It's hanging tight. I'm scared the parents aren't going to realise that we're like. So, YouTubers or whatever, and they'll just see like some middle-aged bloke coming over and just trying to take screams on the kids. Fuck him. What was your name, mate? Oh, yeah. Mila, lovely to meet you, Mila. Have a great day, buddy. See ya. How are you, mate? Oh, I'm not out the back. Oh, no, I called it. Oh, oh, no, that's not in the blue. No, I don't. Scott, put, put it on your head. Mate, absolute scenes here at half time. Gorman Dale trail by 31 points. Anyone's game in the second half, a big comeback is on. Yeah, I think we need to work on it, but I just. Got it. Come on! Got it! Got it. Come on! Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Showed hard all day. Garlic, roughhead, they put in. Couldn't quite get the chocolates, but we've had an amazing day here at Gormandale. Yeah, let's go. Shit! Did it hang up? Oh, that kid's. No, it's alright. They'll bounce back. He's bald. They'll bounce back. He's bald. Um, thank you very much for today, guys. Glenn, Glenn Gareth. You guys are pretty cool. Um, <laughs> you got some really, really good players. Um, to Gormandale, thank you for accepting me today. Um, awesome, and on behalf of Carlton Draft, here's a cheque for five grand for the footy pub, so thank you very much. We're here with Jared Ruffhead. Ruff, how have you pulled up, mate? Uh, I'm all right, I'm all right. Mind you, it is only 20 minutes post-game, so uh, let's ask the question when we drive back to Melbourne tonight or early tomorrow morning, I reckon it might be a different story. So There was a man down in the forward line as well bear. called Jared Garlic. Yeah, bear. Jared yeah. Garlic. You're almost playing decoy for a little well, bit there. Did you see who hit him, though? 
Yes, yeah. yeah. Twice? Yeah. Yeah, okay, right. So that's why <laughs> there's no decoy when I'm the one hitting him on the tip. <laughs> Let's get that right. Um, he was crook as a dog apparently all day too. He's had the flu, um, but he's kicked six in three quarters. So, uh, look, if I'm, I'm happy to play second fiddle to him, but uh, he was not bad. I reckon that's one of these days that he'll live uh, well, <laughs> live you know, in the memory forever. You know when you see like the the names and the teams on the um, on the magnet board, you've got he's got Alex W, someone else like Paul. He just has bear. Yeah, that's so, great. <laughs> that is great. He just has bear. So it's just like right, I kick it to the bear in the square and let him do his work. Jeez, he got cleaned up a couple of times as well. He was oh, labouring a little bit. Let's not talk up. <laughs> oh, we could get in trouble here. <laughs> Does it make you miss uh, running around having a kick? Uh, again, let's ask that question tomorrow morning. But I'm 35 now, so I'm more than happy just happy to keep. Um, it might be, you know, out of all these current drafts, I might be just a one and done, I think. Nah, beautiful. Smash it rough. Well done, mate. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Cheers. Right. Yes. You don't pass, mate. You'll bounce second one soon. When, when we saw the work experience Charlie walk in, I was starting to get a bit nervous thinking my spot's on the line here, I'm on the outer, but little did I know it's because I've got the big promotion. Top of the tree, and you better be watching your back, Doss, because soon it'll be me on the uh, pun road posters. <laughs> Jeez, you've worked your way up. You've done really well. Yeah. Um, how are we going to go? Segment one now. Well, now we've just got to rethink everything. I'm in full-blown footy mode, and I forgot that there's a whole other world to talk about. So we'll d- dive into the pop culture, and uh, I believe in us. Smash it. How are you telling me, fella? Oh, I'm all right. Day yeah. one. It's pretty, pretty surreal, you yeah. know. How's the, how's the drip on him? I reckon the jacket is doing plenty. If that's not a Zara operation, I'm not sure what is. We'll sort it out. Yeah, I might need to get one of those myself. We need to get some... Um, Connor Rogers, Kate McDonald, Bobbleheads made up, I reckon, for the Mates, set. we've upgraded the, uh, the set. So we do the set tour every week. Just $75 in plastic. We got this set to Ralvin, which I think's in this vlog. I just don't really like the purchase. Uh, <laughs> you reckon, I reckon that is worth its weight in gold. Profit and loss statements. You know what Income funny? balance sheets. Yeah. When these blokes are on the show. Hands. Mark. And gold. Open the gate, kick the goal, handball, mark, goal. What I got a little bit get out to the young superhuman in the bed and I'm in the rubbers of that. Anything you see is with a shame, I'm going to do double kind of trivia. I don't know. Oh, kind of trivia, yeah. So that's why you get had to be back. We should do a weekly segment. Controversy. Controversy. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Controversy. Oh, I'll play with it next week. That's outstanding, Charlie. That's outstanding. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. G'day, how are you, mate? We're good. G'day, guys. Welcome back to Goes All Right. My name is Caden McDonald, and I'm joined off the top by co-host of the show, Connor Roggie Rogers. Rog, how are you, mate? Never better. I've managed to get the promotion, but... I was really excited when I when I heard the news, but not as excited now because I'm not the only bloke who's got a promotion. There's three other blokes sitting on the desk from the intro. What's happening here? Oh uh, well, I thought just because we're a footy segment, I'd get three random footy players to put out the front. Just really <laughs> random. Not sort random. Of, not some of the best random. players in the comp. We've got three bobbleheads sitting northwards of the table. We've what, got what's Sir your Maximum Gorn. What's your problem? Clayton Oliver and Christian Petraka. They seem to have one thread that uh, needles in between them all. They're all in the top five of the competition. Close, but lacking a cigar, and that's they're all playing for the Melbourne Football Club. I hope you remember this is an AFL podcast. Alrighty, now to go buy uh, an overpriced toasty because we need to refuel after producing the single greatest show in the history of podcasts. It is, it really is. <laughs> the time has come to say the Oh, hello. Gorgeous. Happy yeah, days. Jesse, uh, you've teased a YouTube channel coming soon. Can the people e- expect it in the near future? Maybe, <laughs> maybe soon. Definitely this year. We'll see. Oh, Definitely where? this year. I can't wait. I'm That's you. Don't hold me to that. Tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. How, did you, how was your experience on Goes All Right? How did that compare to your debut uh, in front of 50,000 people? <laughs> no, I think I was more nervous for this. Rightfully so as well. Um, We're a big deal. Yeah, obviously <laughs> icons of Australia. Just, <laughs> 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 uh, no, just chuck that on the video and just make it a five second bit. I already have to do plenty. Yeah.